Welcome back. Today we're talking about the rise and fall of the Taconic Mountains. You don't know where those are, huh? But as you can see, it is about New York. Specifically, Eastern New York. It may come as a surprise to some, but this uh, United States we live in, as shown in this book, was built up of parts. And in fact, New York used to look something like this. Yes. Some might say it's still a swamp, but you know. Actually, it's more likely now to be considered uh, the wonderful world that's in D.C. Geological maps of tectonic activity. Because you may not be aware of it. However, the United States used to be tilted. So that Virginia was, in fact, the south coast. Furthermore, we straddled the equator and had tropical weather. Very interesting. But then, supercontinents come and supercontinents go. And the east coast of the United States has been slammed into repeatedly. Before the Appalachians, there were the tectonic mountains. There were what used to be called the Grenville Mountains. And in fact, in Canada, certain places you can still see them. They're gray rocks with white lines squiggling all over the place. Very interesting. And gradually, the Atlantic opened, closed, opened again, and kept going. So we've been pushed away from Africa, even though a bit of it finally came up and slammed into Georgia area, Florida and the Gulf Coast. Yes, it came from Africa. Uh, some other parts came from what you will become Europe, what will become uh, the northern coast of Africa, and in fact some of it has come from South America as well. As we've been scooting all over the earth, straddling the equator in the southern hemisphere, back to the equator, and then gradually oozing up north and tilting so that what was, what would become the east coast became the east coast instead of the south coast like it had been. So tilted. And furthermore, even more interesting, if you're from the south, the the Northwest, that too has been slammed into more than a few times. And subductions of plates. Oh, my word. We live on a very busy planet. Now this book, unfortunately not all the pictures in it are in color. <laughs> <coughs> But it is written very nicely. By Donald W. Fisher and Stephen L. Nightingale. Paleontologists. And it's uh, a bit much for your preteen. But it is very good for high school kids. I think they'd enjoy it. Yes, there are trilobites and dinosaurs in it, for anybody who's interested in such things. And it's a thoroughly good read. So I suggest everybody invest the money and get the rise and fall of the Taconic Mountains, which still exist more like foothills than mountains. But it's interesting because the Adirondacks, New York's youngest mountains, are actually 
rock made using the oldest rocks. So, there you go. Interesting facts you didn't know about the ground that some people happen to be standing on. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And please do come again.